Webflow is an incredibly powerful tool, but knowing all of the external plugins you can add to Webflow can help you win a lot more projects, choose Webflow for your next projects and allow you to unlock a way more functionality with Webflow out of the box by just leveraging a few of these plugins. So that's why in this video, we're going to be covering seven different plugins you can use on a day-to-day -day basis to help you realize your ideas better and faster on Webflow. The first one is multi-language. So you have tools like Wiglot where you can go ahead and translate your website in a, with a simple visual builder that integrates with Webflow. You can have subfolders which are currently in beta and many other features that are really important for anybody looking for a multi-language tool. Like there are additional tools like Linguana, Webflow is currently building their own multi-language tool. So like we'll see at the time of you watching the video, that also might be the case. But the most important thing is like, instead of looking at the feature set is, okay, I know I can build a multi-language website and that's why this tool is gonna be allowing me to do so in order to translate my, my website into as many languages as needed. The next tool is gonna be GeoTargetly. So like first you might wanna have a multi-language website, but like, as companies get bigger, they start having websites that are dedicated to a specific area. So let's say if you're Coca-Cola or anything like that, they have a specific website for Serbia, they have a specific website for a different country, different country, different country, and you want to go ahead and redirect people to the proper website based on their IP address. Because tools like Wiglot and stuff like that usually redirect people based on their browser language because it's more of, okay, I wanna serve this content to my audience in a different language so they understand it better, create better copywriting, maybe hide some of the offerings I'm not offering for those uh, for those specific areas. But if you want to create completely custom websites based on every single one of your areas you're working with and you need custom offerings and custom websites, GeoTarget is going to allow you to go ahead and pick up the user IP address and go ahead and redirect them to the proper website they need to be redirected to. I mean, like the, the important thing is here to be careful with cookies and how you handle the IP addresses from people b before you do the redirect. So maybe having a page in between where you go ahead and select which country you're going to be selecting to, but that's going into the nitty gritty details. But the important thing, okay, if you're a corporation, if you're an enterprise you, and you want to move to Webflow, you can actually go ahead and recognize people's IP addresses and have your whole company technically under one dashboard, which is incredibly helpful for bigger companies looking to have 50, 60 websites into one dashboard and maybe leverage Webflow Enterprise as a platform. The next tool that I don't see kind of being talked about a lot is Segment. And Segment is actually going to allow you to go ahead and increase the speed of your website by a significant amount of numbers. And it's going to allow you to not limit your marketing team uh, with all of the tools they want to use. So basically, Segment is going to be integrated into Webflow as a custom solution. So you can set up custom triggers and stuff like that, custom analytics. And then on the back end, you can see that a Segment is going to be sending all of that data to your Google Analytics, to Zendesk, to Google Google Ads, uh, to Salesforce and, and like to any of the tools that you would like to have additionally without actually loading all of those tools and clogging up your website. Then after this, we have uh, attributes. So by going to their to their website, you're going to be able to go and use uh, filtering, which we actually use the most. So like filtering, sorting, pagination and stuff like that, that is the most powerful tool currently available. It's completely for free. There are tools like JetBoost, which are maybe a little bit more user friendly, but they don't allow you to go as granular as you can go with the attributes. So knowing, okay, I can build maybe a complex system of filters, uh, sorting and, and stuff like that in order to make my project a success is gonna be a great thing to know when you're using Webflow. Then a tool that is not on many people's lists and that is Vimeo because we've had our fair share of trying a video platform to host videos on. And because Vimeo has a strong API on the back end, if you need to run any sort of background videos or you need to load videos on your website, the best tool we've found so far was Vimeo that allows us to have the most flexibility design and development wise when integrating custom videos onto our platform. And then the final two tools are from our agency, from our studio. We actually use them on a day-to-day -day basis and I'm, I haven't seen something similar to this level being offered by the community. Of course, it's not our use case, it's just uh, leveraging Swiper.js because for almost all of the projects, we never use the default Webflow sliders. And that's why leveraging Swiper.js as a platform into maybe cloning our own free resource or maybe going to other free resources because there are also great other free resources on the in the community for Swiper.js is going to allow you to create much better slider experiences to add animations, interactions with your uh, with your swipers and to actually kind of build some more, more amazing amazing experiences for your visitors. And then the final thing, maybe a plugin, maybe or not, but just so you know, 
uh, is like the Webflow checklist. Here, you can go ahead and figure out when you do develop the website, is everything okay? So you can use this short checklist to go ahead and check all of the, the style guide components. Is everything usable? Is it everything? Is everything optimized for search engines? Uh, how are the forms working? How are the CMS pages organized? What symbols we're using? What naming convention we're using? What uh, is logo set up properly? What project settings can we do? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the, exactly, the exact checklist we're using internally at our agency to go ahead and check all of the websites. So it's gonna allow you to deliver better experiences for your clients or for your own products. And that's why I think it's an essential tool. So if you wanna learn a lot more about Webflow, go ahead and visit our website down below, flow.ninja, where you can learn a lot more by reading our guides, reading our blog, or downloading our five tips for a successful Webflow project at our website if you wanna make sure that you run your next Webflow project as a freelancer or even as a client when you hire an external agency, as a professional and make sure that it it goes smoothly.